So did they actually come into the Marvel offices for you, or how did that work? No, they they um, they didn't. I don't think anybody even interviewed me. They just uh, confiscated it, as I recall. And I said, I'll just make another one. That's what I'll do. It. That's funny. <laughs> so. Well, no, it's just uh, the story I heard was it was. I guess it got bigger in telling is that they actually came into the office and talked they might to you have, or and something. I don't remember them talking to me. No, you know? okay. They might, they might have come in, but I don't scare easy. <laughs> what do you want? <laughs> so you did a lot of covers, drawing covers, as well as the Not Brand X stuff. And uh, well, tell us more about you know what it was like during those days. Well, you see, uh, Stan was getting busier and busier, and he always checked all the covers. That you know, he he was the guy that it cleared. He was the big mamu. As time went on, there was more and more editors, and half the time, you know, then he went to California, and then we had, you know, we had, I had 11 editors right in a row. <laughs> everybody from Jim Salakrab, everybody. Everybody was an editor. Roy Thomas, everybody. And, uh, but I was very fast. Also, I would see the stuff coming in, and I had access to the Xeroxes of the stories. So they found it was fast for me to do a little... I made these mock-up covers with the, you know, with the 10 cents or 20, whatever it was at that time, and the masthead would go. And I would, I reduced, like, uh, each title to the size of the magazine, so I had blanks. So I would do a sketch, so Stan would see the lettering, how it worked, where he might want to put balloons and captions, and I would do a rough sketch, and he'd approve it, and then it could go to an artist, rather than having the artist come in, Go home, do a piece of art, send it back, and Stan doesn't like it. Two, three, four days. And special delivery was about the fastest we had then. We didn't have the big uh, FedEx then, you know. So time was of the essence. So anything they could do to speed things up, and because I'm fast, was one of my, my attributes because I could get these things out, and if he didn't like it, chuck it and do another one, you know, and talk to him directly. You know, which was better than him calling people on the phone, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. I mean, that doesn't mean that somebody like Kirby was following everything I sketched. It was the concept and the basic design because of what lettering and blurbs Stan would want to put in. And what time period was this about? Was it when be Kirby before he went to DC and? Oh, or? before. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. So you were doing like what, like covers for like the FF and those issues, or just or just sketches, mm -hmm. just sketches, and sometimes they were chucked right out. You know, it was just, I was convenient and I could put down the idea. The artist could do it in his own style and you know move things around even, and they did. It was that Stan wanted to get the concept over fast rather than him dealing with every artist that was working. And he sometimes he'd call them up and say, listen, you know, that's, uh, I know on the sketch it did something, but you did that, and I think I like it, but I want something bigger. And then he'd directly talk to the guy, but it saved him the time of talking to each cover artist. About what year? 70, 80, uh, 73, 4, something like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so so back when you were penciling during the uh, the the sixties heyday of Marvel, you did like Doctor Strange and stuff. What, like, oh, what was that right. like? Well, I always thought they used me because Dick did go quit. <laughs> I didn't think they were that interested in me. Doctor Strange was not the biggest seller in the world. I mean, he was, uh, and I just thought, well, it's a way to earn money. I wasn't flattered or anything. I, you know. Well, I thought they were great issues, so that's why I'm... Well, you know. I, I think I'm a pretty good storyteller, but, I mean, you'd have to be a real Doctor Strange fan because most of the kids were into Spider-Man and FF, you know, and the Hulk. Did you like my Hulk? Very much. Thank you. Yes. I like that. That was... So, I was about to ask, what was your favorite stuff to work on? I think Doctor Strange, it was... It was so you could do any garbage you wanted in the background, all these ridiculous things going into things, and, you know... Uh -huh. I liked the Hulk a lot. And of course the humor, anything humor, I'd, lo I'd love doing not brand deck. I could make fun of everybody. Because, you know, I, I used to do cartoons of everybody in the office. Some of them I couldn't show. <laughs> Funny. <laughs> we don't have any of those X-rated... Uh... <laughs> no, I, you know, they would disappear because people wanted them. They were hysterical. They were funny. They were funny. I got rid of my, my demon part of me in that. Do you have any uh, obscure stories that uh, the general public may not know that would be kind of fun to hear? Revealed at last. 
you know, the Marie Severin expose. One of the funniest things was, um, I think Roy Thomas's wife at the time, or he, had to bring this little puppy that they had gotten in because the puppy screamed all day. So he brought him into the office. I don't know what he was going to do with him, but he had to take him and the wife. So he was running all around the office. So <laughs> Stan wasn't in in the morning, so they put him in Stan's office on a chair, and he went to sleep. Little, cute little dog. And uh, uh, somebody said, Stan wants to see you in the office. He's, he's uh, in with Mr. Goodman right now. It was on it. And you go ahead in the office. So I went in the office, and I looked, and the dog had messed on on the couch. <laughs> and he was supposed to be in the chair, and I'm, I'm saying, I don't want to clean it up. <laughs> What am I going to, maybe if I don't say anything, somebody else will see it, you know? Because I knew as the woman I would have to go in and get the paper and clean it, right? So, <laughs> here's this little dog, and Stan comes in, and he's talking, and all of a sudden, instead of going to his desk, he goes over to the couch, and he's going to sit down. And I thought, there are people who would give me $1,000 if I don't say anything. But then again, <laughs> not me. I would feel terrible for him because I like Stan. But isn't that funny? I said, don't sit down. And he, what? You know, he had papers and the, and he turns around and says, oh, my God, that dog, who's the Roy? You know? <laughs> and I, isn't that funny? Oh, that was good. <laughs> I think that's Ooh. about the best one, yeah. What was your favorite part about working for Marvel over the years and stuff like that? I and mean, what job did you enjoy the most? The coloring, the covers, the the coal and, and Hulk? I or? liked the, uh, the, the coal stuff because I was pretty much left on my own. Roy liked my plotting. I think he did because he left me pretty much with it, you know. And... Uh, Cole and, and the Hulk, there was no problem. I felt the freedom, but I liked going in on staff. People say, why don't you go freelance? You make a lot more money. I said, I like the variety. I like going in and, you know, I don't need all that. Some of these guys that come in with back trouble from sitting at the drawing board for 18 hours, you know. And I didn't need it. I lived at home. I didn't need that much money. You know, I didn't have to support kids and everything. Um, I just enjoyed drawing. Drawing, color, whatever came along. Sometimes, once in a while, personalities, but very rarely, because you don't have to get involved. You know, you don't have to get involved in the petty things. Most of the stuff that we're trouble was, like in any office, is when there's competition. And I wasn't competing with anybody. I wanted, you know, just to do my thing. And nobody wanted to do what I was doing, because most of them didn't know how. <laughs> you know? So. I, I I took the easy way, but I, and I worked hard. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed the, the every day was different. Some days I'd be doing a layout. Sometimes I'd be doing all covers. Some days I'd be doing corrections. Sometimes I'd be trying to letter. I'm not the best, but I can do little patches, you know. And I liked uh, designing mastheads. I like I like variety and lettering. That all comes my father's influence there. He was very good on, you know, space concepts and all that stuff. Well, my brother was so good at his, his Western and his uh, war stuff that he never got to do that many covers and stuff. He was more in the, in the storylines because his stuff is beautiful. Um, so I didn't do that, as many stories. I was doing all the diversified stuff, which I enjoyed more, really. Although the stories I did, like I said, Cole I liked. Cole and the Hulk. I wanted the Hulk to be more more aggressive, which he got later on. Other artists got that going, but I he had a carry from the last artist, you know, and he he wasn't as um, disgustingly destructive as he turned out later on. <laughs> you know, that's what I wanted to do. But uh. did you see the movie? No, I never did. Isn't that awful? I'd like to see it. Did you see any of the new superhero movies? He, I or? saw the uh, the first Spider Man, <clears throat> first Spider Man, but I didn't see the second yet. What'd you think? I liked them. I like all those things flying around. That's great. You know. They're never going to be like a comic book. It's a whole different way of storytelling, you know. 